I am so excited to be here with you guys live. Let's just double check that everything is coming up. So if you are joining us, this is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any of our card making and crafting that's coming your way all week long. So we are gonna hop on. It looks like we are showing up live. I just wanna make sure that you can hear me. Um, I see some of you are so on. Oh, good, on. you can it hear me, like at least on one channel. That's always exciting, my friends. It's always exciting when things happen and it works and I don't have to kill it <laughs> or lose my mind. Lose my mind is usually what's really going on. So, um, you see, this has been a really long day and week and it's only Tuesday. How is it? Is it the spring weather? What is it, you guys, that causes this exhaustion, inability to breathe? and then just going, going, going. It's what it is, is the end of the year. Every year it's the end of the year, we're going to be running around. You know how that goes. You know, you know, my friends. So hi, Melody, nice to see you guys. Hold on one second, I'm double checking on Facebook that you guys can hear me and that we can do sharing is caring because we are Care Bear Lovey Bears. Yes, we are. Um, okay, let me double check there and then share here. Go. Give you guys a second. Uh, so I have a fun little story for you, a little fashion thing. Hi, Linda. Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, so I am wearing an old. You're gonna laugh at this. It is probably twenty plus years old. I don't know if it has a date. It's a rocks shirt that I took my stepdaughters to when we where they were in, I think middle school. Um, and so uh, yeah, because they are. They are both married and in their 30s, mid 30s now, but it had, um, who did it have? It had Moby, it had um, Rock Lobster, B-52s, it had a whole bunch of people. So then it, my daughter's been wearing his pajama shirt and it started tearing. She's like, can you fix it? I said, no, but I'm gonna make it into a cardigan. So I just slid it down and isn't that fun? You guys take your old t-shirts, cut it in half down the front and make a cute cardigan out of it. I know this isn't the best like view of it, but look at that, how cute. Like, you know, you get more of a use out of it. I wouldn't wear it as a t-shirt anymore. Um, and so that was just a fun little, fashion tip for you today. Not that, that we need a fashion tip, but you know me. I love it. Hi, Margaret. So great that you guys are joining us today. So grab your old rock star tees and throw it on. It's been a hot day, so I'm in a tank top today to embrace the cool. And I also have a fan. Can you guys hear me pretty clearly? My studio is where our family air conditioning comes out of, so it can be a little bit loud sometimes, um, but very comfortable. <laughs> so today we have the cutest card, we really do. It's a little latte love, and oh, I didn't even notice, look at I have yellow, yellow nails now, and they match the latte on there, so cute, right? Um, so I was running around today. Hi, Jen, nice to see you from Washington, and I wanted to create a fun fold for you guys, and so this is the fun fold. This is really, like, it's super flat, which I love. I love a surprise fun fold, and so I'm going to show you. Are you ready? So cute. So much fun. Okay, ready? We're going to open it, and we're going to use up our scraps and grab a nice little square that maybe you wouldn't use on a card front anymore, and you can place it inside. Let's jump in right now to create this easy handmade friend fold using up our scraps in order to celebrate somebody in your life that maybe perks up your day. Let's go ahead and turn around right now. Maybe, if I can get the button. All right. So um, we are embracing the stunning Latte Love Designer Series collection. I am actually putting my hair up because girls, I am a little warm. I'm a little warm. And then we're expecting like downpours tonight. So there is that. Um, we are going to do a little fun fold that's on the inside, but I wanna teach you guys this little window fold on the outside. It's a little window cut. How about that? Not even a fun fold, just a little window cut. We're gonna end up fussy cutting out some of these really cute little latte cups that you can see right there. And I'll show you a little tip and trick on how I do that. And then we do this here. And then when you open it up, that awesome little fun fold is a guaranteed way to perk somebody's day up. And I love the little pun because it's kind of fun. <laughs> It is. Okay. So this is our little collection here. We have some pale pink. Now I have to tell you, um, Linda, if you're still on here with me, I bought you guys, you're going to laugh if you know me. I'm not a huge fan of pink, but I've become a pink fan. 
I know, crazy. Um, I found myself this year wanting a spring purse and I bought a purse almost the exact same color as Petal Pink. Petal Pink is one of my favorite pinks though, so I think that I can get away with it. <laughs> Um, okay, so on my blog at gettingcrafty.net, you guys will find all the supplies and measurements for this. This is also one of our free classes. It's now been moved to a date because my uncle is receiving, hi Lisa, my uncle's receiving a lifetime achievement award from the University of Manchester. Um, and so Manchester University, not University of Manchester, mm, get it right. And so um, I, my Thursdays have become really kind of like not my own the next couple of weeks while we're doing some family stuff. And I wouldn't miss that. I moved here to be near family. And there's no way I'll miss out on fun stuff like that, right? Once a year, once in a lifetime kinds of moments that um, when we lived in California, we didn't always get to participate, but we're here now and we love it. So there you go. Um, you bought a pink purse too, Melody? Oh my gosh, I'll have to show you guys a picture of mine. I love it so much. Um, thank you, Lisa. He's an amazing man, which we openly adore in my family. So this here is the Lost Lagoon. I love the pop of blue that comes up with it. Now, when I cut this, you'll see the measurements are on my blog for this measurement here. And then I cut off one inch. That's this one inch piece here. And when I was on my blog, I said, adhere it down. Don't do that yet. Don't listen to my written blog instructions. <laughs> We're going to lay it out like a template is what we're going to do. I measured the words. It's going to be as snug as a bug fit, my friends. Super snug. So we're going to place it there and we're going to grab and we really want it close to the edge there. We're going to leave that. Make sure it's a little straight. There you go. So when I'm doing projects, what I do is I look at the top half to make sure it's centered and straight. That's how I do it. And my uncle was the, I believe, dean for the education department um, at Manchester University. And um, so many people actually knew him. And what's really funny is I was taking a um, pottery class uh, about a year ago or two, and the women were like, your uncle is him? He's so handsome. And I was like, I do. I call my, actually call my uncle handsome um, when, I, when I speak to him on the phone. Hey, handsome. Um, and I did that with my grandfather too. Uh, my, my mom was always commenting that I flirted with the men in our family. I do. I openly flirt. I think they're very handsome. I uh, Recently, my daughter and I were watching an episode, which she was tripping out on, the original Star, Star Trek. So um, Leonard Nimoy looks very much like my uncle or my uncle looks, nope, he's older. So I'm guessing maybe they're about the same age, actually. We're going to stamp in the early espresso with the Latte Love Greetings that you see right here. Now, this is a free class, my friends, and I will have, I guess that information was not on my blog post, but I will have that on my blog post for you. So don't feel bad. And I did suggest that you use the stamp and seal adhesive, but because this is a snug fit, you may want to use the multi-purpose liquid adhesive because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room right there. Just kind of go like so. And he even carries himself like it. My daughter was watching the episode and she was tripping out. She goes, you mean to tell me that they're different aliens because of their outfits? And I said, oh, and their eyebrows are different angles. And she was like, that's all it took back in the day. I said, we used our imagination, girl. We didn't just rely on it to do it for us. We used our imagination back in the day. Isn't that funny? So we're going to take the square that you see here and we're going to do a little bit of scoring. Are you guys ready? Here. And again, all of these measurements are on my blog and you guys will see this, but we're gonna score on each side right there. And really it's just going half. So this is a five by five square of designer series paper and we're gonna score it in half, but we're gonna take one diagonal cut. So I line up the corner in the track and then I follow it. Sometimes you guys, when you move one, the other will move. So you really kind of have to do the double check that it's where you want it. And I like to hold my finger out here to make sure I've hold it in place, which that was not my best job right there. So I was going to start the live classes on Thursdays. Instead, we're gonna do it the first Thursday of the month. So do not miss it in May. Right, Lisa, special effects were not as special, but we loved them. We really did. And so uh, it was kind of funny that she called us out on something that I would never have thought about. 
and she's like, wow, like this is super politically charged. And it was really funny because it was, it was talking about women's lib and how men oppress women. And I was like, I forgot that that was really the movement back in the day. So what we're doing is we're folding. If you guys didn't see, this is the back piece. I love this paper so much. If you take the class, it's free. All you have to do is purchase this bundle from me and I will send you the class in the mail that you can create. Um, and we will have two classes available this month that will happen at the beginning of May. So you have this month to order and then you'll be able to join us. So then um, we're gonna take the inside piece and we're gonna fold that in a different direction. We're gonna come in and go like so. So it pushed the inside piece out using your bone folder. This is, anytime you do a fun fold, you guys, you're going to end up doing a lot of bone folding. You're gonna take and make a good impression, impression on anything that is fun folded. And because this is thin, designer series paper is designed for layering it's going to make a nice snug fit inside without being overbearing so when you look at this card it doesn't look like a fun fold it doesn't have a heavy feel to it it will mail easily and the corner bends so what that means is it should not need to be postmark special at all or paid for any additional postage what my uh postmaster who's my girlfriend said to me is that if it's on an edge i'm looking for like a book here we'll just grab this punch if it's on an edge and you can bend a corner then it's perfectly fine to go through you can have it hand posted but it will be fine to go through it should not charge uh, one of my friends was charged for a card that I sent to her and I took it to my postmaster asked why she was frustrated and gave me a refund so did you know they could do that I didn't know they could do that I think it's awesome then we're taking and stamping on the inside now the reason we're doing this before we we adhesive is what do you know why we're stamping. We're going to do the square down here. Tomorrow, I'm seeing a very dear friend of mine who has been laid up in excruciating pain. So I wanted to take her a card and a cup of coffee. So that's what I'm going to do. So we want to make sure we stamp beforehand so that we don't have any mistakes and then it gets stuck with it. Now we know where our greeting's going to be and we know those tucked in corners are going like so. And as you can see, they open up easy peasy just like so. So what we're going to do is apply this to the inside. I like to do it while it's closed. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go to all four corners. And we're going to place it inside of the card. And as you can tell, the adhesives on the top, I'm double checking that my greeting is going to be where I want it. I have been notorious to making mistakes and I want to prevent that here. And I did get a little smear on my finger. Just do yourself a good rub and give it a good back rub right there. And the designer series paper is gonna cover that. So I am not worried. Let's just throw that across the top. That Lost Lagoon is a great neutral in here. It anchors the card while picking up that very fine blue in here. Then we also have the Early Espresso in the same plaid pattern. And if you look, my stylist did a plaid fingernail today for me. So I thought that was really fun. Did you really? I really do like it, Melody. She made it as well recently. And it's a great way to use up your scraps when you are crafting. There could be all kinds of paper that maybe is not your favorite. So this paper might be one of my favorite collections. It's an online exclusive. It's super easy. There we go. Give it a good back rub. And we're looking at a very easy card, my friends, and it opens right up just like that. Easy peasy. Now, when we're using this designer series paper, we want to grab a couple of cups in order to adhesive it. So what I'm going to do is using my paper snips, I'm going to go in and this one here, I use the Lost Lagoon in the um, the yellow, which is what color, which is that the lemon lolly? Let's just double check. Yes, it is the lemon lolly. I like it a lot. I'm getting a piece of paper that just fell. Hold on. And every year, I think my family is surprised when the spring season comes and we can't breathe. Like, it's so funny. So I'm gonna go in and just grab these two cups, like here.
Again, if you have a designer series paper with lots of images that you can just fussy cut out, this is a great thing to do when you are in the middle of sitting with a family member or they're doing something and you have to hang out, whether it's watching TV. My husband likes me to just going to answer it. Sorry. Are you there? Hopefully. There we go. Somebody was trying to call in and I'm so sorry. Then we're going to turn this like so and we've cut out the inside of that handle but we want to be careful not to cut the handle off. So this would be something that if my husband was sitting and watching a television show and he wants me to sit near him, I cannot just sit very easily. Usually I start to do some Pilates or I am crocheting or card making, prepping for something, writing a note to somebody else. Am I alone in this? Am I the only one that's just, there's just too much to do so I never and sit and rest very easily. So by cutting that little swatch right there, we're going to take the Stampin' Dimensional Adhesive and we're going to grab one of those corners and we're going to cover the handle so it doesn't come apart any longer. Put some more adhesive on there and place that in the corner. It's taller, that's a great balance to the card. And when you are fussy cutting, it's most ideal to leave a little bit of trim around the edges. It's weird, but when you cut that trim off, it does not look right. And so we are snug along the edge here. And this is very cathartic. If you are just looking for something mentally to kind of get a break. but I usually have um, the doomsday strolling, scrolling while TV is on. And my daughter, my husband's like, how can you watch both? So actually, I just, I just need to be fidgeting. Like I have a hard time. So there's been times when I've really had to work on my own ability to sit and rest because we are actually called to rest. And it's kind of crazy. If you can't sleep, a friend of mine told me this years ago that even just laying in bed, the act of it and not moving is a form of rest. And your body may not be getting the deep sleep, but it is getting a form of rest. Who knew? Huh. Isn't that crazy? So I know, Melody, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting how I can just, I just need to go, 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 go. And again, I'm putting a little adhesive across the corner of that flap that I cut so that it doesn't open up. But then I'm giving that negative space so that the cup appears to have a handle. And then I want to layer it so that that yellow one kind of peeks through, which adds to that vibe that you can see through it. It's very subtle, my friends, but it's those little things that really work on a card like this. So. And this is such an easy card. Again, if you're going to use a latte suite, grab all three of these embellishments. They remind me of little espresso beans. My mother liked hers to have a ton of milk. So we knew the exact color that she wanted her latte, her coffee every day at 315 when she walked in the door. That was our job. And odd numbers look best. So make sure you use odd numbers if you can when you're crafting and just put this down. My dad was a dark cup of coffee, nothing in it, kind of joke drinker. And he was a railroadman back in the day with my grandfather and my uncle, back in the day, back in the day. And we're just gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella to this here. Wink of Stella is coming back soon. I know that it's, it's there, but if you're like me and you stockpiled, maybe you add a little bit of sparkle to your project. It's a glycerin base and this is a water-based ink. So you want to be careful not to blend it out too much. Now, what we have is a very simple and easy card that uses our scraps up 
and delivers a wow fun fold. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? So we have a pink purse and yellow nails. I didn't even put the two together when I grabbed this designer series paper. So um, I dig it. Do you prefer the pink cup or the Lost Lagoon cup? That would be a good question because I don't know which one grounds the card more. Um, I am, again, not a huge fan of pink. So I really prefer, I think, the Lost Lagoon, but both are really cute. Comment and let me know what you think. Very cute card, Lisa says. Thank you so much. So we have an easy card. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we're done early, which is even better. Hello, I like hanging out with you and you like hanging out with me, but we got things to do. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see here. They love it. Melody says, a very cute card, Lisa. Thank you so much. Um, so then it just opens up and it's nice and thin. So again, don't stockpile your designer series paper. Use them up. Use it up. Send to people pretty cards that make them smile today. That's why you do what you do. Not only is it fun to create, it's a blessing to give it to others and make them smile. And if you can think about it, I'm sure you know a couple of people in your life that could use a little pick-me-up or a perk up as this card really does that's sure to let people know that they are the best part of your day. So here you go. Hello. Let's catch up. Pink, Ina says, I'm so glad I have missed you. It's nice to see your gorgeous face. Um, I'll be live on the second live in just a second. Um, and then this opens up just like so. I think it's fun. Um, I like that she likes the pink card, the pink cup. And it's, uh, it's funny since we're doing the kitchen remodel, my daughter said to me that I'm not allowed to buy any more cups, that I have too many. And I do. So I now have, we've been breaking them up because there's seasonal cups too. Um, I have a tendency to have like a spring cup that I like and a summer cup with the 4th of July and patriotic. And it's just a pumpkin cup during the fall season, right? Mm, that's me. So, uh, but I'm not allowed to buy any more for my new kitchen because I don't have room to store it. <laughs> so you're going to love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this card and it's perked up your day just like it did mine. Maybe it warmed up your soul just a little bit. Um, and I really enjoyed being with you guys here today. If you didn't know what I do, two lives every single week. And right now I'm doing my second live for our Getting Crafty family. And I'm going to go do that now. Thank you for joining me. Please like and comment and let me know what you think is the best part of this card. Is it the fun fold? Because I do love me a sassy fun fold that is so easy. And this fills up a lot of this space, gives it a lot of dynamic with the pattern, but still leaves you room to write, which I think is super fun. All the supplies and measurements are for this are on my blog. The link in the description below at gettingcrafty.net with all of the measurements and supplies. And if you haven't already, subscribed and hit that bell and let me know that we will see you all week long as we're creating and connecting over card making and crafting. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day.